Hello everyone and welcome back to 27 Fox Place. It's definitely been a few minutes since I cleaned this window <laughs> and cleaning this window is my least favorite thing to do and most favorite thing to have done. And the top part of this window is angled so that the dust and dirt pile up on the surface <laughs> faster than I can clean it. And glass is durable but it can scratch so I want to make sure and rinse off the dirt with the hose before I use any cleaning products. I'm using spray away glass cleaner and a soft brush to clean off the glass and I found this brush in the automotive section and it's designed to clean cars and boats so the soft bristles won't scratch the glass but they will loosen up anything that's stuck to it and the large brush covers a large surface area quickly. My grandmother always swore by newspaper to clean windows, but a squeegee covers a large surface area in a short amount of time, so it's one of the fastest ways to get a streak-free shine. This is part 7 in my zone cleaning series and I'm cleaning in the kitchen zone today and because I needed to beat the sun my first priority was to clean the kitchen window before I did anything else because once the sun hits the glass the glare and the heat make it difficult to clean so I had to put off my daily routine until I ran out of shade this morning. Cleaning the outside of this window is so much easier than cleaning the inside and it makes such a big impact, but now that the outside is clean, all of the spots on the inside are visible. I didn't have enough time to finish cleaning the inside of the window, so while I'm waiting for the sun to move, I decided to get started on my morning routine and the first thing I need to do this morning is transfer the clothes over to the dryer. I try to put things away throughout the day so that the house stays tidy, but the living room is the last place we spend time before we go to bed, and by that point anything that hasn't been done isn't going to get done until the next day. So it's one of the first things that I try to do in the morning. Whenever the dishwasher is full enough, I run it the night before so that I can empty it first thing in the morning. As a kid, I was put in charge of doing the dishes when I turned 10, and when I moved out on my own, <laughs> I stopped doing the dishes and let them pile up in the sink. And eventually, my rebellion ended, but it took me a little while to realize the power of an empty dishwasher. I would let the dishes pile up in the sink because I didn't want to take the time to empty the dishwasher. But I finally realized that one way or another, I was going to have to empty that dishwasher, but it was easier to keep the kitchen clean if I did it sooner. I've been trying to be more consistent about airing out the bed in the mornings because microscopic mites like damp and dark places, so it's a good idea to pull back the cover to expose everything to light and air. But it's not an excuse for leaving the bed unmade. You need to straighten out the sheets and blankets so that there's nowhere for little critters to hide. Sleep, hear the crick. 
could see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right Folding laundry is the last part of my morning routine today, and if there's one load that I put off the longest, it's whites. <laughs> and I'm not really sure what I have against socks, but it's my least favorite part of laundry, and because 90% of the whites that need to be washed are socks, <laughs> the socks get a chance to pile up before I have enough whites to run a full load. This is as good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin I clean the shelves in this window about once a week, but I'm never as consistent as I would like to be at cleaning the glass in the window. And the blinds on this window are up most of the time, but grease and grime still manage to accumulate on the slats. And the challenge with cleaning these blinds is that there's nothing behind them, so there's not anything to keep them from moving around while I clean them. So I started using a window scrubber on the blinds this time, and it made it easier to get them clean. And then I just needed a microfiber cloth to wipe them off. All that ever was is a It's not as practical to use a microfiber cloth to clean the glass in this window because it's too hard to reach the glass and there's too much surface area. So I'm using a window scrubber to make it easier to reach and I'm using the Sprayway glass cleaner to cut through the kitchen grease. And I can take out the glass shelf, but it's too cumbersome to maneuver in and out of the window and it's fragile. So I usually ask my husband to help, but since he wasn't home, I decided to clean around it this time. So good. My kitchen routine has been changing over the past year or so, and I used to include cabinetry with my zone cleaning, but I've started wiping them down every week or so now, and if I use a damp microfiber cloth, it only takes about 15 minutes or so for me to wipe down the entire kitchen from top to bottom. But I've been breaking up the kitchen tasks the same way I break up the cleaning in the bathroom, and it makes sense because I already have the cleaning products in my hand, so it just takes a few extra minutes to wipe down one 
of the appliances or a section of cabinets, but I still reserve a day to tackle cleaning tasks like this window that take more time. So what used to take hours to clean the kitchen now only takes about an hour. Time to borrow today Well something's gotta give today It's a good day to If you're new here, my name is Randy and I make videos for cleaning and organizing motivation. So if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And I post new videos every Friday, so be sure to turn on the notifications so that you don't miss the next video. Don't hold me back now, I'm in the lead. This
I've had this little burr grinder for years and it still works great, but if I don't clean it out every few months, this opening gets clogged with coffee and nothing comes out. <laughs> so I use this little brush that came with one of our coffee makers to clean out all the coffee grounds and then I'll run all of the parts through the dishwasher. These open shelves store serving bowls that we don't use very often, but they're exposed to grease in the kitchen, so I need to throw them in the dishwasher once in a while to get them clean. The air filter above the stove and the stove grates were also on my list of things to run through the dishwasher today, but there just wasn't enough room this time, so now I have to remember to include them the next time I have a little more room in the dishwasher. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights I try to remember to descale the coffee maker every month or so, but I also have to rinse the coffee grounds out of the water tank because if too many grounds get into the tank, it can clog up the machine. Down, I will keep on searching for my highs. I need to clean the trash cans and inside of the cabinets. It doesn't get too bad under here, but there are some coffee grounds that spilled in the cabinet. And I need to pull everything out from under the sink so that I can wipe it down. And I found this liner that's deep enough to fit the entire cabinet and it protects the cabinet from spills and it also makes it easy to clean. Even if you're sure that you don't have roaches, it's a good idea to keep a few traps around just in case. We keep bait under the sink and with a recycle bin, and we also have a few traps around the garage. And we haven't found any roaches in the traps yet, but they can hitch a ride in paper bags and cardboard packaging. I like to take the trash cans outside to wash them, and I'm just using soap and vinegar solution and a microfiber cloth, and I'll wash them and leave them outside to dry, and I'll do the same thing with the cabinet liner. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down This is the last part of my zone cleaning series, so if you missed any of those videos, be sure to check out the playlist in the description box. I have an eight week cleaning schedule that I use to maintain a clean home, and I start at the top and work my way through the house one room at a time, and the kitchen is the last zone that I need to clean inside the house, but the last zone is in the garage, but we're in the middle of a few projects in the garage, so I thought it would be better to share that zone once it's all finished.
We keep most of the cleaning supplies in the garage, but I do keep a few things in smaller containers under the sink, and I noticed that there were a few containers that needed to be refilled, and I was keeping gloves in this container, but I haven't been reaching for them as often since I've been using the microfiber cloths, and with the microfiber cloths, I don't need to use as many chemicals, but I need to get back into the habit of wearing them when my hands are in water for long periods of time. Birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope I finished up everything that I wanted to get done today and now I just need to clean off the countertops in the sink and I'm using Methods Granite Cleaner to wipe off the counters. I had to laugh when I watched this because the sink on the right is pretty clean, but the sink on the left needs a good scrub after a day of cleaning, but apparently I have a habit of cleaning both sides at the same time. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm. I had to wait for the dishwasher to finish running before I could put everything back together and I was planning on descaling the coffee maker today, but by the time the parts were finished cleaning, I was out of motivation. <laughs> but that's something easy I can do in the next day or two, and I also wanted to clean the grill at the bottom of the fridge, but even though I have a schedule, that doesn't mean I always stick to it. Quiet voices in the night Time is running out of sight A lonely wind is passing by it Tries to carry all the whispers that it finds 
walls are listening when we talk Making echoes as we walk That's all for today. I hope the sun cleaning series helps with your own cleaning routines. And of course, if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications before you go today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today and I hope to see you next time. Underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes